Majesty Volton orders you to stop it with the melting ray. What was that? A melting ray from Volton's defense gun. They're trying to destroy us. Then we're doomed. What happened, Baron? What stopped the fall? We were saved by the gravity-defying rays that support the Sky City. And we're safe? As King Volton's prisoners, our chances are slim. In the honor of becoming my queen? Why? Flash! Steady, Dale. How dare you attack a ship of the Emperor Ming? My father will send an army to destroy you and your entire city. Not while I hold his beautiful daughter hostage. You would dare to make me a prisoner? Shall we say, uh, a guest? <laughs> so you're the Flash I've heard so much about. Yes, I'm the fellow. What about it? I need a strong man like you. Prince Baron, welcome. Who is the elderly Earth man? Dr. Zarkov, a great scientist, Your Highness. I have need for a great scientist. Guards, take Dr. Zarkov to my laboratory and remove his bonds. And the strong young man to the furnace room where he will be kept warm. You can't do this, Your Majesty. Maybe you do not wish to be separated from your friend. You shall go with him. Release those men, Bolton, or I'll... Don't annoy me. Guards, take them away. Your rescue party find any trace of my daughter of the Earth people? Yes, Your Majesty. We discovered a Hawkman who had been injured in a fight with the Earthman Gordon. He told us that Prince Thun and the Earth Girl had been taken as prisoners to King Bolton's city. Prepare my rocket fleet at once. We will go to the sky city of Bolton and teach him a needed lesson. Your Majesty. The supply of radium activity in this laboratory is quite strong. Yes. My city is supported by the gravity-resisting rays thrown out by the atom furnaces, Dr. Sarko. I understand. But what if something should happen to your furnace? What if your supply of radium fuel becomes exhausted? It would mean complete destruction. A new substitute must be found. It will be your task to discover this new force. That's why I spared you from the furnaces. Spared me? You mean that my friends are... They are feeding radium to the atom furnaces. And will continue to do so until you discover this new force. at once. You will need that coil of wire. Bring it along. Oh, I hear you. All right, Doctor. What's this for, Zakoff? His Majesty's way of dealing with an unruly sleeve. The wire will be attached to a high-voltage circuit. And if you should attempt to escape, 
A switch will be thrown, and you will be electrocuted instantly. to take this wire and attach it to the handle of a shovel. Baron, get me a shovel. When the time comes, you throw the shovel into the atom furnace. But remember, once you have thrown the shovel, your lives depend on you reaching the shelter of this lead wall. coming, a banquet would have been served. I do not dine with unruly subjects. I come not for pleasure, but to punish. You will apologize for firing upon an imperial ship, for holding my daughter a prisoner, and for seizing the person of my affianced bride, Dale Lord. Unless these and my other prisoners are released at once, I'll... Before your majesty makes idle threats, you had better consider your position and your present surroundings. Who dare threaten your emperor? No, uh... But perhaps we had better talk it over. Ready, Baron? Ready. Red for the ball, man! Destroyed. The beams which support the city are dying out. But I have discovered a new ray which will save the city. Use it at once. I will, on one condition, that you give my friends their liberty. Your friends shall be freed. Swear it. I do by the great god Teo. Come to the laboratory. shall not be kept. I have sworn by Teo. My word is good. The emperor of the universe, it is my right to call a tournament of death. And the earth man will have to enter it. But if he survives, I hold you to his right. Liberty, a kingdom of his own, and the bride of his choice. Yes. If, if he survives. I will order the tournament to commence at once. Your Majesty, the Earthman is ready to fight. Sacred Orangophoid. 
is an ancient legend. Oh. Tell me. the secret of how the Oranga point could be slain. As I priest, it is your duty to find the traitor. Well done, Earthman. Your Majesty, in accordance with the rules of the tournament, I demand that you proclaim these men free and give them the right to choose their brides. Our two friends have earned great honor, but the arena of death is hardly the place for a celebration. Three days hence, at my palace on feast day, I will give these gallant warriors their freedom and the right to choose their brides. Let there be no trickery, Ming. Have my fleet prepared at once for immediate departure. Permit me to wish you a happy journey. Well, aren't you going with us? I must return to my own kingdom. I care not to enter the palace of my enemy, Emperor Ming. I hope we meet again. I feel it we shall. Alton has very foolishly placed himself in my power. The Earthman Garden must be removed secretly and definitely. Shall be done, Your Majesty. Remember, it is either he or you. The choice should not be difficult. Will you please stop worrying, Dale? But I can't help it. Well, I'm the one who should do the worrying. Oh, I know, Flash, but... Now listen. Suppose the girl I should choose for my bride tomorrow turns me down. Then what? Everything's going to be all right. Now, come on. How dare you speak? To help you, my princess. You've been sent by me. You have no wish to help me. You misjudge me. May I remind your royal highness, it was I who told you how the sacred Arangapoid might be slain. But I know my father plans the Earthman's death. He will force you to execute his plans. The Earthman's absolute absence would be welcomed by Emperor Ming. But that does not mean that the Earthman must be destroyed. Your meaning? You might persuade Gorg to forsake this Earthworld and go with you to the sacred palace of Teo, where you may live in happiness. But the Earthman would never consent to go with me. These mixed in wine. The first will produce a death-like sleep lasting for two hours. This one, give him when he awakens, will bring absolute forgetfulness and erase all memory of the past. Then he will not remember me. True. You will be the first woman he shall see. And when he opens his eyes and beholds your beautiful face... The past will not stand between us. 